Guys, welcome back. We just come up for a little bit of a holiday. I brought Jamie with me. We're just doing a little bit of scanning at the moment, but uh, we've just come up for a couple of days. We're going to have a little bit of a go in this uh, bigger system. Sort of come up here looking for threadies and that sort of thing. So we do have a couple of days up our sleeve that we've been playing with, but uh, I'm pretty much just going to mash all the all the days together into one video for you, because uh, yeah, we have been finding the fish and they're being quite thick in some places, but uh, getting them to bite's been the interesting part. So we got here on the uh, the day after the neeps, and we've had building tides since. So you know, each day we sort of thought, yeah, well, we, we've got tomorrow sorted, but each day we come back and it had changed every time. So we sort of were starting from scratch each time. This isn't a, a system that I've fished a lot, so. Personally, I don't have a great deal of experience here. Jamie's fished a little bit, so he had a few little tricks up his sleeve, but even that proved to be sort of every day was different. So we just sort of had to basically wing it each day and see what happened. But uh, while we have been fishing for threadies the whole time, we have come across the uh, inevitable forbidden fruit. Anyone who knows me knows I've got a lot of respect for Barra, so I have been chucking them back and been treating them quite nicely, but we have got a little bit of bycatch there, so. Uh, I don't want anyone to get their knickers in and no, I'm just going to let you know now. We haven't been targeting them and uh, yeah, it is what it is. We've been treating the fish with respect, putting them back and letting them do their things. So just been running the little red rocket. That's the little uh, Dobbins Caden from the last video, the little four to eight pound. And it's got the little 2500 reel with uh, P.8. So 12 pound line and uh, a 30 pound in that. Sunline in the um, fluorocarbon stretchy shock leader that I've been running lately. As you can see, not really barra gear, but uh, I'm going to show you now <laughs> what, what happened on this. It was pretty cool. So, um, yeah, like I said, we're not targeting barra and it was an accidental catch, but uh, have a look at this one. Oh, oh, oh. That's a big barra, dude. <laughs> oh, that's. Good luck. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> That's a big fish too. <laughs> oh, man. You're so rod. <laughs> Surely, it's only like 30 pound later, so surely he's going to get rid of that. I reckon he probably would have chased me by now if he was going away. Just make it easy for yourself. Oh. <laughs> Shit. You gotta have a drink, mate. Well, this would have actually been fun if it was on real gear. It's fun, but it's scary. <laughs> oh, yeah. But on Barra Gear, where I had some power and just. Oh. <laughs> 12 pound braid. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're going to look at it now. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, wow. Well. Well. It's got to be 105. Yeah. 
<laughs> what a battle. What a battle. <laughs> I'm scared, eh? Here you go. Here you go, bro. Try and keep this. Oh, no. Oh. Baby, come back. Yeah. <laughs> it's done now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. He's not done. <laughs> we might be this other side, eh, bro? Oh, no. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah. Don't get too excited. <laughs> oh, bro. Here we go. Beaten now. On this side. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> On 12 pound with 30 feet. Well done, I was there to see it. Holy shit. I made it. That's a good fish, man. That's I like. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. That's a Seven meter. out of ten for that release. It's a meter. Yeah, well, I'm not putting my hands in this water. It's too scary. <laughs> That's a meter fish. Sweet. Bro. Okay, well, that was interesting <laughs> on that light rod. But um, let's go have a look for some actual threes again this time, we please. <laughs> So yeah, we were fishing there. We had a big croc on the bank as we sort of pulled up and uh, we didn't want to have the, have the risk of that fish getting taken next to the boat and I didn't want to leave a hook in it. So we did put in the net and quickly quickly got the lure out and chucked him back. So, you know, like I said, we've been treating him with respect and that's pretty much the best we could sort of do. We have had a few sort of sharks and stuff in some of the places we've been fishing, but um, yeah. We've been putting them in the net and unhooking them in the net and getting them straight back in. So you can't really do much better than that without sort of risking your own hands and the fish's life. So yeah, we're pretty much just going to go for a little bit of a cruise now. We've marked up a few threadies over here. So we're just going to go and have a little bit of a look. There's a bit of a back eddy coming off this corner here. There's a whole bunch of barra over in that corner there, but we've got the threadies just sitting up in here. So we're going to have a little bit of a crack at these and uh, see how we go. Perfect little rod for tiny plastics. Sorry kids, you got two mums. <laughs> oh Andy. Andy's just checking out the fire up there. I don't reckon he can see us from there so. Our spot's pretty safe. <laughs> Big bedoing bedoing. Yeah, bro. I was so quick too then. That was like just in front of the boat, eh? Big, big bedoing bedoing. <laughs> it was definitely a bedoing. No! Right, we've got a couple of threadies sitting down the back. You can see fork tails and them, but then up here, there's the barra. So we're just driving along this bank here in about three and a half metres and just looking, seeing what we spot up here, but that'll be a thready up there. Uh, blew that, didn't I? But yeah, so we're just cruising along looking for little patches of threadies and we've got the electric down, so I'll just spot lock as soon as I see something worth casting at and then we'll have a crack at them. So Jamie's going to stick with the hard body and uh, I'll stick with that little flex fork. Hopefully we can get it ready.
Yeah, on the straight, eh? That was a really weird bite. We're on here. He hasn't come up and jumped yet. Flex four. Bastard. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> ah. If we just lip, I've just got a single so we can just get it out easy. Just don't get eaten by a crocodile, man. Oh, I just got nothing left in this rod. <laughs> oh. he got a, he's got some stink to him. Doesn't like coming up. This is where you just easier off netting them instead of trying to let them go in the water. I should think he's done now. It's just a single brush, you'll pop out. Oh no. Alright, oh, send him on his way. Get out of here. Hmm. Well, I've caught a fish today. It was a subtle bite, but it was, so... <laughs> it was a very soft bite. Oh, I can't believe that. I was like, we're on, we're on. Little soft, subtle, thready bite. It's not a thready. Oh, well. This is what frustration looks like. Big fork tail. And no bites. He's on. Jimmy's on. I'm just talking about leaving. What do we got? I reckon you might have the target here, bro. Where one's your leader? You got the target? Target species finally, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. On the 95 Max 5, mate. It's a bigger presentation, eh? Cheers, bro. Oh, good, man. That was hard earned. You want to get them hooks out of him? Yeah. Before? He's a little one, but who cares? It's a nice fish, actually, nice colour. Yeah, yeah, very nice colour. Yeah, seventy. Yeah, seventy. Yeah, push him. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah. What are you doing? Get rid of him, mate. I'll put him away. He can go for one another day, brother. He can grow. He can grow. All but right. A couple still coming through. We'll keep persisting. All right, I don't know how the little rod's going to handle it, but we're going to go this one, little 95 in the beer bandit colour. The little finesse presentation's a nightmare trying to keep contact, so I'm going to drop him down, see how we go. All right, I'm going with a couple of number eight fangs there. Just that little bit lighter gauge is going to be a bit nicer when I'm um, trying to set those hooks, so with your trebles, just run it so. When you're working your lure, it sits up, tucks up nicely like that. Because if it sits like that, you've just got less hook exposure. So tucking them up under the belly like that is the best way. But yeah, better hook up rate and generally less snags. So he's going in there. Let's see how I go now. Got you in the stick. No. Jamie's on again. He's got you in something, doesn't he? You got him back out? Random fight. What is it? 
green-eyed monster on the max vibe but Jamie <laughs> was just fishing this little bit of a ledge that's what the threadies are stacking on and that thing must have been just tucked in there because he had you on something eh? yeah, yeah I think it's a stick bear your leader's still pretty good so yeah. get him back he's he's safe with us get him off. <laughs> what's a trip without a mud trout <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that thing would smoke me on this eh? Bro, there's fish all along there again. Well, it's the old one. Yeah. Oh, get out of it! Oh, this one swallowed it. We might try and get him in the net real quick so he doesn't choke on the lure, bro. He's swallowed it. It was a very thready like doink. Prawn's getting smacked in there. I'm going to bring him your way. Oh, oh no. He's green as. Yeah, I'll just even keep him over the side there, bro, and I'll do quick surgery on him, I think. Got him. Got him. Flip him out of there. Cheers, bro. Yep. <laughs> He's bent me vibe up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't have had much more and I would have lost that lure into him, so... We did the right thing, mate. We always do the right thing, mate. <laughs> It'll still swim. I'll just get rid of that chafe leader and we'll go again. Yeah. Wow. I really thought that was a thready bite, eh? It was subtle. This it was just a, oh, it was a quite a good little doink, but just the exact, exactly how they bite. Like aggressive, but just that really short, sharp. Anyway, I've got the cod line. Yeah, the cod. That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're the back in the water. Feel that coming up too. I'm just watching Freddy's go through on the screen. <laughs> right there, they're mixed together. Woo. Yeah, we should be able to see how he hooks. A little red rod goes alright, eh? A little red rocket. <laughs> Yeah, we should be able to just unhook him. Leader in. I'm trying to keep his head up. Yep, should be right. I'm just unhook him there. Get out. That's the colour. Gold. The gold, eh? Gold. The Barris layer. Purple's gone off. It's gone the gold. Purple's got the three. There's fork tails there, right? Eh? more of them please it's fun but <laughs> all right we'll just come down the river and found another school just trying to get away from all them barra that we were on before 
Looks like there's a few threadies here. No sign of barra, but there is sign of sharks, so. We'll give it a minute and see how we go. Oh, I saw that bite and I just had like a little bit of a something go on. Righty aim. Pretty much my plan is if I hook one, I'm just gonna let him out soon the sharks. <laughs> What's your plan? Winch him. Winch. Winch. Go hard. 12 pound versus 20 pound. Yeah. I wonder if it's worth bringing us down stream 10 meters and in three or four meters so we can bring it straight down along. yeah because there's definitely a bit of a ridge that runs down there seems that's what the fish were holding on we'll do it after this cast i reckon that's the recipe getting a bit closer eh grind away on them Pretty much, oh, in line with the boat, but in front of that tree there. That was a fish then, coming up the lift, up the drop up, drop off. Yeah, that line there, and they're in front of that tree. That was where the main patch was. They're all around us. Look at them under the boat. And give them. All under the boat, on the down scan there. We're trying. We're trying. I'm doing everything right. Good job. Oh, yeah, I saw that bite. Yeah, lad. I reckon you're on here. Target. It is a. Hmm. Oh, what? <laughs> Pull the hook out. <laughs> that was out a little bit wider, eh? It's alright. That was just a normal lift, eh? Slow lift. Slow lift. Yeah. Alright. Two little taps then. You got him. You got him. You got him. I'm gonna get the net ready. I'm giving it to you. out of the way. He was out a bit wider, eh? Yeah. Okay. That's coming. I'm going to say this is the target. Yeah. You're going to need to control him or come up the front. One leader. Good thready, bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> bro. That's what we come here for. <laughs> nice. <Yeah>, persistence, eh? <laughs> yeah. Bloody persistence. Yes. We've weeded through a million fish. Let's get that out for you. Oh, I got him, man. He come out nice and easy. 95 max vibe and that is a staunch one bro i'm gonna get the mat yeah, out put for the him. mat on that one pick him up get him up for the camera man oh. that's what we come here for jump just down there a little bit 
nice man middle of the day staunch freddy you'd have to be in the high 90s i reckon um oh that's a cool fish bro congrats no, i want one of them on my little silly rod let me get the measuring stick oh you've done him it's 99 it's your 99 <laughs> oh 98 98 there you 98 go. 98 nice one bro I'll chuck him back eh? Well, let him go brother he yeah. can go back get him back yeah nice fish send him back and away you go Woo. how do you feel mate that's two days of persistence well it's 100% <laughs> and i'll just say that i remember to take the plastic off my hooks this trip <laughs> <laughs> nice lucky side and send one out. Jamie's got to retie his leader, so this is my opportunity. Nice fish, 90, what, 98 centimetres? 98. That would be epic on the silly, silly string. Oh, bro, I just got. He's on. I'm on. Silly string. <laughs> Silly string, we're on here. <laughs> that is... Oh, get oh. out! No! Oh, oh, oh. I just don't want him to get eaten here. Maybe just chuck him. I just don't want him to get eaten by a shark. Bro. If we put him in the net, he's a bit safer. There he is, and I'll unhook him there. Just hold him, hold him like that. Just put something between me and the shark. <laughs> Wait. Thanks, man. Get out. Minimal, minimal stress. Nice release. Thanks, bro. All right, so that's us. We're going to hit it. As you can probably tell from that footage, we've had very, very average um, conditions. We started on the the day after the neap, so it was quite small tides and not not much run, which. You know, we sort of found the fish and thought thought we we had a game plan for for the next day, sort of moving forward. And then the next day we had a big su like the second day we had a big southerly change come through. It was blowing 30 knots in the morning. You probably would be able to tell from the footage. Uh, but yeah, then this morning we've come up and once again different different wind again. And it's not too windy today, but it's not really ideal any anyway. But building tides every day was different it wasn't you know you can't really expect to just come and bash fish every time it's not a system that i put a lot of time into so i don't have the most experience here jamie did have a little bit and it's sort of you know some of them spots have come through good but where we did end up finding the bigger kings was something that we'd both sort of just stumbled across on the day so it always sort of keep, pays to keep an eye on your sander and just sort of you know have a plan c which is winging it up your sleeve but uh <laughs> We have, we have put that much time on fish and uh, it wasn't really the hottest fishing, but you can't always crack them. So overall, I'm pretty happy. Jamie's pretty happy. We've got away for a few days and we've had a good little trip. So, all right, so we're gonna hit it now. We've got a couple of hours drive to get home. So we'll get home nice and early, but uh, we're done with the grind. It's been a, it's been a, been a long few days, but uh, thanks for watching. While you're here, if you haven't already done it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Peace.